Here at the Mission Hill School in Boston, alongside the familiar sights and sounds of public school, an unfamiliar revolution in learning is underway. It's happening in the second and third grade where each student is trusted to begin the school day without prodding, freeing teacher Janera Williams to spend her time connecting with individual children and ensuring that everyone is ready to learn, intellectually, socially, and emotionally. They've stopped asking me for every single thing. Can I have a pencil? Can I go to the bathroom? Can I move? Can I breathe? They don't do that anymore. They sort of get, okay, this is up to me. I mean, it's really about making them independent. It's happening in the main office, where Principal Ayla Gavin's desk sits in the type of open, airy place you'd actually like to be sent. Everything I do is visible. Um, so there are no secrets, that's the expectation of everyone here, that everyone's work is public, everyone here is expected to defend their work, um, that's also true for me. Do you know how close... And it's happening in the classroom of Kathy Clunas D'Andrea, whose lessons each day are not dictated by which facts to memorize, but by which life skills to acquire. Okay, so what would you say to Kadian? What can I make you feel better? What can you do to make you feel better? Okay, all right. Is that okay, Kadian? All right. The goal for me is to know that there are... How did these adults create such a place for children? And how can we create more places like it? One of the most important things is creating a climate of trust. And we had to work really hard at that. Why she's crying, because she knows exactly that crying over an eraser. would be a good... I feel like that class would be into... Everyone has value. Mm -hmm. And that's reflected in how people treat one another. It just sounds so basic. I'm going to recommend that we all K through eight. What matters is that everyone has membership. Um, everyone's a part of it. So even in terms of the other second graders, Amelia is very, very... The trust and support to do their jobs well. Mission Hills teachers are constantly reimagining how to help students develop the five habits of mind the school believes are foundational for any well-educated person, whether it's asking good questions, making insightful connections, or imagining and empathizing with the viewpoint of someone else. What do you think it feels like to be Morion at recess? It's hard to be himself. So you're thinking about how that feels for you and how that might then feel for Morion? Yes. He feels bad. What do you think, Mintu? Feels like um, feels like like nobody wants to play with him. But um, do you have any advice for other kids who are trying to work things out with somebody yes. they don't like? You could try to play with. Us. We're not just um, including people, but we are embracing people. Um, this idea of empathy is it's just crucial. I try to play with Cecilia. When I think about viewpoint, we often say walking in the shoes of another person, and so. When I think about it in my classroom, when I think about it anywhere, again it goes back to trust. I feel like trust is such a huge part of it. As it turns out, Mission Hill's vision isn't just one school's kind-hearted belief in the value of critical skills like collaboration and empathy. It's also a sound teaching strategy based on the latest hard science about how the brain works and how people learn. Mirror neurons are located actually in many different brain regions and they talk to each other. Dr. Marco Iacoboni, a leading neuroscientist at UCLA, says these mirror neurons are what allow us to empathize with the thoughts and feelings of other people. When you see, for instance, somebody on a bike that falls down and gets injured, your immediate reaction is almost, oh, you kind of feel the pain of that person. And that's really the classical way which mirror neurons kind of express themselves with our body. We see something, we see somebody in pain, we almost feel the pain, and our body expresses that. But while feeling another's pain may be an innate aspect of the way human brains are wired, Jacoboni and others are quick to point out that developing the deeper ability to think and act empathetically requires lots of ongoing practice and exposure, particularly in young people. If I'm not able to figure out what you feel, it's very difficult to connect with you, to interact with you. In fact, you can think of empathy as almost the social glue. It's something that kind of really bonds the two of us. When you know them well, you just 
uh, naturally become their advocate. Just like you would for your own kid or family member, you know them so well and you want them to have what you consider the best of whatever it is. Add up the key components of what makes Mission Hill so special and what you'll find is not just the success story of a single school, but also the core ingredients of transformational learning itself. A richly diverse community, an integrated approach to academic study, a clearly defined set of aspirational habits of mind, a skilled, trusted, and empowered community of adults, and a recognition that, in the end, school must be about more than reading and math. It must prepare young people to successfully navigate a world of rapid change, equipping them with the skills to listen and empathize, collaborate and lead, imagine and create.